Hey y'all, Steph Armano here from S.A. Armano Arts. I hope that you're having a great time, a great day, a great night, or whenever you happen to be seeing this. I just recorded <laughs> um, a fixed up version or introduction for, um, for S.A. Armano Arts. Who I am, what's my business? And it is a little bit long. It's about 20 minutes because 10 minutes is to include and go over things that you find here, who I am and such, and the other 10 minutes explain kind of what this business is, why I consider it an arts business, even though there's tarot, there's handmade items and uh, painted or artworks. Why is that? And kind of all of that, which you can find on the website, right? You can find on my website and... I've really been pushing towards making my blog and recording all of my stuff instead of just putting it on Instagram and on and on YouTube. I prefer a lot YouTube because it's a longer quantity and I can go straight from YouTube and putting it on a blog post. Um, makes it a little bit easier for me, kind of, just to make my life. Um, especially because I know that sometimes Instagram has now been very different with ideas and such. Uh, social media is a tool. But do understand it is owned by companies, by larger companies that if they decide to kick you off, they can totally do that. So, having a backup. So, anyways, to do this, this is going to be a reading because I know, I know, I've had a lot of people who say they miss me shuffling. Problem is, the table is here. The table's here. So, I'm going to shuffle midway and we're just going to see and do the side shuffle or the side shuffle. Kind of like this one where you go on top like that and it's a pretty nice way but I can't be doing no bridge none of my fun shuffles that people always are like oh it looks so fun seriously if you like shuffling cards play with just a normal playing card deck to learn things and learning tricks and stuff because it's fun shuffling cards has always been fun if you don't like shuffling cards then it's probably the wrong tool for you uh -huh. <laughs> Not always. Some people prefer the fan and then picking the card. Nah, man. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, we're going to be using two decks here. This one is The Gothic Tarot by Anne Stokes. And this one is actually a thinner. It's really thin for a deck. It's good for small hands. If you have smaller hands, this is like your type of thing. And they're beautiful. There are artworks that she's created. Um, awesome artist. Truly. Has like almost etherealness with their works. So, Kind of what to get a reading on. What if you're watching this? What do you need to see? What's something that you need to know for this time? I'm doing this currently in December 28th of 2021. But even if it's past that time, if you're drawn to this, you're meant to see it for some good reason. Okay. okay. So let's see. All right. It's pretty soon. That's enough of that one. I'm literally just looking and like, just just feeling it, right? Part of the gifts, part of what we do. Okay. What else do I need to know coming up? Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. So, we'll just use this. I have five cards from... Sorry, I didn't even say it. This is the Ian Daniels, um, that's the creator of it, Vampire Tarot. So, just in case you're wanting these. Both of these are inexpensive, they're not rough or anything for you to buy into, and the book of, this one of Ian Daniels, The Phantasmagoria, is awesome. It's a really good book, it even talks about the Kabbalah quite a bit, not like super extensive, but every card has like a lot of explanation. This one doesn't come necessarily with a really, really big thing. It comes with like a little pocket, you know, a little pocket that are pretty easy to, little white book that they, little white paper and whatnot. That's pretty easy, simple. But if you're looking for something that expands it, yeah, people who are in the gig or if you're just wanting to learn about yourself and read for yourself, that's pretty interesting. And these cards really will challenge you to see things. All right. Now that we're at four minutes, almost five and... I don't know what the amount of time is that Instagram is giving me anymore, um, but this will always be on YouTube. It'll always be now on my blog as well to make my life a little bit easier. So getting into this. From the Gothic Tarot, I have the Empress. Beautiful card. I love how it's dragons. 
how she's holding a baby dragon and it's beautiful. The Empress is the three. Three is the first shape. Um, when you think mathematics, it is a triangle. Okay. Sorry. It's the little triangle, right? So why is it that important? There's a reason why a lot of spiritual systems count three as a, you know, where you get like, if you think in Catholicism and Christianity, you get the Holy Spirit, Jesus, and God, right? You get this trine of things. If you deal with like Celtic and European stuff, um, you deal with like earth, sea, and sky, or you deal with a couple of other things, depending on where you're talking about. Um, and so all of these things. So what's this about, right? Well, the Empress is basically coming into union with yourself. Sounds weird how I put that, right? But really, the Empress is about finding yourself, refining yourself, finding all the pieces of who you are, and putting them together um, for the Divine Feminines that are watching. This is probably you coming into terms with things that you have considered your shadow or you were shamed for or you felt shameful about, guilty about, things that you had kind of there that you were like, I don't, I don't know whether I can put these pieces of myself together. I know for myself, I used to always separate my life from firefighting and schoolwork and then this. Now we come into terms and we come into putting and aligning ourselves with all of these things meshing together in your life. For me, that's how it is. It might be that for you, it's like your business and your work job or in your home life, or it might just be your home life and just different sides. Like, oh, this is this family, this is this family. Whatever it is, if this includes like things that were your hobbies, whether you used to love to read and stuff, I guess, Dracula, of course. <laughs> it's currently what we're rereading. Um, book reader and people like all that stuff. So whatever it is that you're trying to put the pieces of yourself together, do understand this is gonna help you out for a lot. This is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, amazing card, okay? Think of the four, it's it's the next shape, right? Four, you get the square. The square is a very, very strong shape. Triangle is used for almost building everything, but two triangles together create squares, rectangles and stuff like that, depending on how many and what's angles and the different forms of the triangle, right? The four is like the four posts of a house. It's like the four walls of a room, it is like the four posts of a bed frame, right? Why is four such an important thing? A lot of people consider it stability. Why is the four of wands good? Because wands is fire energy and fire energy wands is usually considered with your inner self. It's with, you know, your inside self. It's the fire that burns within yourself, within your soul, within your spirit. So being the four of fire this to me is telling me that you are aligning yourself. You're becoming more with yourself. You're becoming, you know, you're letting it burn. You're letting yourself burn. You're finding hobbies that are working for yourselves or whatever it is. You're a divine feminine or whether you're divine masculine, noticing that you're divine feminine is like that or taking into account your divine feminine and divine masculine sides for some people and for a lot of people, you know, whatever that is. The next one that I have here is the three of wands. Pretty interesting that I have two threes. I have two threes right here. This one's Major Arcana. This is what your spirits, your guides, your ancestors, your angels, and beings and such that are around you want you to know that this is really what is at the core of what they wish for, right? So I'm also looking here. The Three of Wands is really about new, new adventures, right? That's what a lot of people consider. New adventures, new ties. It's about new, like, handshakes. It's about you finding and waiting for the boat to arrive. You know, there's new opportunities on the horizon or it's already here and you just got to get on. You just got to take that chance and get on that new boat. Get on that new thing for yourself. It might be that these new hobbies are turning into businesses for some people. It can be these new hobbies are letting you express yourself and are realizing that you can bring these ties and these things creating union within yourself, creating um, all of these things together that you've always thought of as separate. Like my hobbies were separate than my job, right? But then now you're like, I can do side hustles. I can do things like that. This is a wand energy is within yourself and the spark of life, this spice of life, this new stuff for yourself, correct? So seeing that here, and now we're moving on to these. I'm putting, we have two major arcana here and it's not just any major arcana I have the couple here 
the Empress and the Emperor. Okay. This is the four and this is the three. Okay. So I like this. I really do. So Empress energy is all about aligning yourself into who you are, right? The magician tells you, you have everything needed to do whatever it is you want. This is the one, the one because the fool, you probably have noticed that it's 22 cards in Major Arcana, right? The fool is the zero, it's the egg, it's the new beginning, right? The magician is important because it's the first step. It's the first few steps, it's you taking that chance. Um, sorry, this one. But um, he's basically pouring it in and creating alchemy, starting what he wants, what he wishes for, what he dreams for. This is also the father of the three. One plus two is three, right? So what you usually get is you get the magician and then you get the high priestess is the mother and then they create the empress. So that is how the story of like the creation story of a lot of tarot and stuff like that talks about when you're learning and stuff and you're growing and you're learning more about it, right? When I see the magician, it's always like the beginning, it's the new stuff, it's there, what you're wanting. And I'm getting all these extra messages and what I'm trying to speak and explain is because I'm getting pieces and parts of multiple things kind of hovering. So I can only imagine that they want me to elaborate more on this. And I can feel that it's yes, it's right here. It's right here in my stomach. Kind of like, yes, please, please, please give more. Instead of anxiety, it's more like, yay, yay, like it's excitement. I don't know. Some people are really excited about this or somebody's spirits are going to be bringing you here to see this because they're excited. <laughs> That's excitement, not like, oh, I need to throw up. That's more like, oh my God, I'm excited for this next chapter. So people with the emperor, right? This could be very much um, couples coming together, unions within yourself of masculine and feminine, which is kind of funny how I said that beforehand, but it can also be... Um, very much that some people are going to be getting more stability within themselves after they they come in a union with themselves could be that they are realizing and they find people exterior to them whether it's your divine masculine your divine feminine or such coming to reunions and stuff like that that's very interesting and very nice to hear victory six of wands six of wands again another wands i already have three wands here and wands are all about inner self. It's about work. It's about things that come quickly. Do you understand that? Those are things that come in quickly. So success. I don't know what this is, but finding success, finding things that go and work through yourself and that you're putting two and two together and you're starting new successes and stuff, things are going to come out well. Okay. Things are going to come out well. That's really what the message is about. Unions within yourself, unions maybe outside of yourselves new relationships, not always having to be romantic can be relationships within your work and your job um, because the emperor usually is considered stability, right? He's considered usually like your money, your bank, stuff like that. More of like solid, um, I always see him as like physical assets in the sense, not like physical assets like money, like paper money or like in your bank, but like you have a home, right? The empress makes the home, right? A lot of people say the woman makes the house into a home, right? Or the feminine energy or a good union does that, right? So, okay, they're trying to like give me something else and I'm like, okay, what else here? Now, I'm getting something else here and this is very interesting how you get this at the end here. So this is what's coming, but I need you to do something before then, okay? While you're coming to union with yourself you need to take time for yourself okay i have the hermit right here major arcana the hermit is all about you probably have heard and if you haven't heard me say this story before you have the hermit and then you have the hierophant the hermit is somebody who's going into themselves and taking time away from the world to learn about it to learn about themselves to learn about what's going on before they come back out the hair friend is somebody who prefers to be by themselves because they've already learned the lessons and a lot of stuff that's come about. And now they have to actually be like, okay, I'm going to go out to see what's going on. But really they prefer to be on their own versus a hermit is somebody who literally has to take time to either become a hair friend where they learn something more and they want to prefer to stay separate from people or if they prefer to come back to the world. 
usually when I see the hermit instead of the hierophant, I see people who are like, okay, I'm going to take a step, step back, steps back, learn myself and whatnot before I come back out into society and into myself. This is, I'm getting a yes. I'm hearing ringing. Hi. So you're going to have to be taking time for yourself to be able to get into this union within the pieces and admitting and understanding and stop being guilty or stop feeling shame of small things, of hobbies, of things that you like to do. Because these, you know, if you like to do something, it's because that makes your heart happy. That makes your fire really go, your motivation to continue. And there's probably a reason why you have this gift on this planet for this reason, right? In this plane, in this field. Do you understand time is not linear for everybody who has doubted it? Let me tell you, time is not linear. But... That is what it is. It's you having to come to terms because you're going to be needed of some sort or this is a good way for you to be able to help. You know, might be part of something that can help your business, your strategy, yourself, people around you and such. Or this was something that was part of your purpose kind of thing. That's what I'm really getting. Okay. I have also the five of coins next to the hermit. Taking time for yourself. And watching the five of coins is usually where people that this is what I'm going to see you're going to be dealing with first before all this happens because these came out separate the five of coins is usually where somebody feels lost right loss of wealth loss of money or loss of something within themselves this to me is the reason why you went into hermit mode. You're like, I feel it's either a loss that you lost somebody in your life, you lost something that was a physical asset, or you lost a job that you thought was the only job you would have, or you lost the, the career sense that you thought you were going towards, or you couldn't accomplish the career you wanted yet. And instead, spirit is guiding you and saying, you have all this ambition, you have all this going towards this. Really come to one with yourself come to pieces together and continue to walk that way with it because this is where you're actually meant to be this will bring you not just happiness but this will bring you literally the stability you desire the strength you have always had that you've never really been able to show anybody and just about everything else because you have everything to make it happen with the magician with the emperor of the stability that's how you get it that's how with the union of yourself, with not having, what a, <laughs> I'm getting yes, please say it, for people who are Latino and whatnot, you have heard of susto, right? If you have not heard of susto, it's where you lose pieces of your soul. What does that mean? Losing pieces of your soul or having to regain them. So basically when you shame a part of yourself, part of your little soul pieces part of your soul is like oh okay I'll take a step back and because you're not calling back your power you have to call back your power call back the pieces of yourself so that way you feel whole it's really what it comes down to multiple ways of doing it but really just saying I accept that part of me your soul like will brighten up and like those pieces that have been on another part are like she's really she's really gonna give me space to be able to do it that inner child healing all this other stuff how people explain it it's all kind of tied together because you're all one being one person your soul is literally trying to find a way to harmonize pieces that you have always pushed away and hidden from yourself and the pieces that you've always thought were what people have always shown is good for you to have right? So hopefully this helps out. I'm excited for all this new stuff that's going. Please take the time to find yourself. Please take the time to hermit away, to huddle away if you need to. This can be that some people are feeling depression because of, you know, winter and stuff like that. Whatever it is that's going on and you feel a loss of, breathe and understand whatever you lost there's going to be something better to fill that void and to fill that part of your life with something that you never really thought was possible, but is. So we made it right under 20 minutes. Hopefully Instagram lets me upload this, but this is different model and I hope that this helps out. My website is saromodoarts.com. Uh, this will be on YouTube, Instagram, hopefully. <laughs> um, on Snapchat, you can always text me through WhatsApp. 
that's the easiest way, especially if you don't have a US um, texting way. You know, truly it's the easiest point of entry, or you can just email at shermotoarts at gmail.com. So hopefully this helps you out. It's been a while since I've done a reading because of firefighting and everything that's been happening, but hopefully this helps out. Have a great one, y'all. Bye.